And welcome back to episode. This is your host, Pointy Hat McGee. I couldn't come up with anything better. Let's go. Sorry for the loud noise. Also, here. you have forty-two thousand souls. Don't you think you should go back? Yeah, I should probably go spin those. Uh, let's see here. I could level up. I could get some pyromancies. I, I could have a person come online that I met in this game. I helped him defeat a boss. Like, 20 times. No. It was my thief character. I was, I was uh, just getting souls by fighting the same boss like 30 times, helping other people fight it. It was grand old times. There's a person laying at this bonfire. I'm going to see how many tight levels I can get out of this. I can get three. So, one, two, three. Man, three of two still don't give me another one. I would go ahead and Next do that. Next one's probably at 25. Dang. I'm gonna need a lot of souls for that. You may as well go. Hey, put, put a few one into in. dexterity so you can use the Ferris bow if you feel like it. Alright, fine. But then I'm going to Pyromancy Glove. You're gonna have the guy you've been in Dark Souls start playing, start playing Dark Souls. At least it's not that far to get there. Maybe we should cut it. Yeah. To the beginning of the episode, but it's fine. Fine. And. Jump cut! Ugh! Ugh! Oh, some landing. Hey, Pyro dude! I've come to upgrade my glove. Uh, you've been a stranger these days. Tell me about it. I, I, oh. I have never seen anything like it. If you tell him about this, he goes down to Blight Town and turns hollow. Then S my answer is no. I see. I suppose I was mistaken. In any case, I definitely trust you. Apologies, my friend. Forget that I said anything. And I don't think he'll ever ask you about it again. Okay. Which is uh, sad because fine. it means you don't get to finish out his quest line. But whatever. Also, these get ridiculously expensive. Yep, this is the last one we can do. I think the last three are like twenty-two, like nineteen, twenty-two, and twenty-five each. I think I can do something about that. I am. Is it something? Uh I'm going to feed you the smaller souls. Actually, I think those are actually devalued right now. I think the soul of the Nameless Soldier actually gives you 600. Farewell. Okay, let's find out. Large soul is... 1,000. So that okay. would be bad. And then I think the regular one is 600. Okay. So, let's do some math. That's 600 times 4 is 2,400. That's 1,000 each, so that's 7,000. So that's 7, 8, 9,400. Proud Knight is, I think, 2,000, actually. So, yeah, I can probably level up if I pop all of these. And a large soul of Proud Knight, I think, is 5,000. Yeah, you know, just put them on your hot bar and use them in rapid succession. Yeah. Well, on my other file, I actually moved all the souls and humanities up to the top. Because I figured out I could change order. I never actually tried to do anything like that on this Oh, one. Soul of Nameless Soldiers, 800. It would have been really devalued. Yep. Must have been a different soul I was thinking of. You're thinking of Soul of, uh, soul of a Lost Undead. Yeah, that's the one. One, two, one more, three, I think that'll be just enough, nope, no. one more, four, there we are, oh, hello. Oh, as well. modify equipment, oh wait, it's 12,000, well you have enough, so, friend. just pop two, oh, you dare go on. he cares about you, Alright, modify. Bye. Then now I can need... get five more levels from this guy. And you know what? Let's, uh. Huh. It's kind of expensive. Why not buy it anyway? Well, there's no point right now. I don't have the attunement to use it. So I'll leave Boy, it be for now. Unless you want to go combustion and fire orb. It's up to you. Would be more, but. Eh, I, I like my, uh. Flaming lava bath. 
So you're not going to use any more of your consumable souls? Not right now. Okay. You might want to store the soul of Quelag and the soul of uh, Moonlight Butterfly so you don't accidentally use them. That would be a good idea. But we don't have a bonfire we can use here. Oh, by the way, the things that you can make with the Moonlight Butterfly soul, you can make the Crystal Ring Shield, which uh, is basically just a very good magic blocking shield, which Ooh. has a special attack instead of parrying that fires a crystal ring at your target. And then you can also get the uh, the uh, butterfly moonlight butterfly horn, which is a special spear made uh, to scale with magic damage. I've heard it's actually pretty decent. I don't know why I thought I could freaking target him. Your feet are on fire. Ha 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 ha! Now you might be wondering why I walked over here. That's because when I was playing my Steam file, I happened to notice the guy on the bridge there. And I'm gonna go pay him a visit. I keep forgetting he's here. He sells some interesting things now that you've re-found him. So this is that dude was in, uh, in place before Blight Town, right? Yes. Yep. I Shemite. I didn't expect to meet anybody here. I suppose great minds think alike, eh? <laughs> I didn't really pay attention to him when he was in the place next to Blight Town, but he seemed like a jackass. Now that I'm listening to him, I think he has an awesome accent. He's actually a pretty cool guy. Uh, I thought him. he was some kind of he snake. He sells the man. master key. Yep. Oh, 5,000? That's slow. And it's incredibly cheap. It is. It's crazy. He doesn't have much Maybe arm. I should have gone with Ring of the Tiny Being or whatever it was called. That ring wasn't that good. Yeah. Whatever. Sells gold pine resin. Yep, Pine Resin is really good against Dragon-type enemies. I haven't used it on this character yet, but I have used it on the uh, yeah, other characters shame, of mine. But no and boy, does it really no work no against the Gaping Dragon. Back again. It turns but that no boss fight And against Knights. Not every trade was meant to be. There'll be more in store for us. Someday. Sometime. Jesus, do you ever shut up, guy? <laughs> I guarantee we will be back. Okay, well... All the way back! I ain't risking that jump. Bye-bye! <laughs> Especially for that trip. Okay. As soon as I finish up here with Dark Root Basin, though, I think I'm going to go ahead and head back down to Blight Town for the stuff I missed. And then, Sin's Fortress. That's that's mine. I don't want to erase that. Okay. So, I guess Not we're heading way. this way. If you want to head to the third section of Dark Root Garden, you have to go across here. Okay, Luckily, none is... of those NPCs are aggroed on you anymore. But don't attack them or you'll lose the Covenant automatically. Yep. Well, he died fast. And you'll have to request absolution. Which also, I'm guessing costs a lot. I've said it before already. Actually, put on the ring and see if you get summoned. Okay. Although you'll probably get ganked the moment you uh, use it. It's not like it's, there's no bad sides getting summoned, though, right? Yeah. Okay. I wonder how long it'll take for you to be summoned. You don't have to be human for that, do you? No, you don't. Way of White. I thought I could only see that when I was in their covenant. Nope. Covenant. Ray of what? Way of white rings always appear. Ray okay. of white. Yeah. What do they do anyway? If you have a spell, uh, and you're in the way of white covenant, well, if you have a miracle and you're in the way of white covenant, uh, if you have the specific miracle that was used on that circle, uh, you can use it there and you'll get a bonus. Oh, okay. Like if you if somebody used heal there, it might send a way of white circle to another world, and if you see it and you use heal, you might get more benefit from it. That's a flower, not an item. Okay, so this is area number two, yeah? Yep, and this is the third area. This is where I want to go. Mm -hmm. I don't know how he got up there. Frankly, though, I don't really care. I do! I want to know what it says, damn it! Probably oh, well. I did Probably it. Probably says I did it, yeah. Or nice chest. No, there's not near that. Need close range. That's uh, invading another world! You are now a dark spirit. Time to see this from the other side of it. Nice timing. <laughs> Do your best. Do your best. Do your best. Do your best. All your Do I get my spells together. and stuff back if I use them up here? Uh, I believe so. Is that the guy I'm trying to kill? Yeah. Nico chan Wow, he is seriously messed up. 
lag. Has oh a... god, this guy is like end level stats. I don't think you're gonna end up hurting him. He's he. That's Havel's armor. Wow, this guy's so laggy though. That was. He might have all this powerful stuff, but his internet connection apparently sucks too much. Ugh. And it's a not a good thing on my side either. Well, I died. I don't even know what hit me. That spell he used earlier. That's how bad the lag is. Damn. Almost got him, though. Yeah, it took every single spell you had. That guy had to have been soul level like 300 or something. Please put your arms down. You're killing me, man. Oh, I'm sorry. Sheesh. You don't have to call attention to it during the video. Yes, we do. We always do. We have to call attention to it because of how often you do it, despite us telling you not to kill us. I like to relax. Re re relax in a way that doesn't cause us pain and suffering. Seriously, please. Deodorant, get you some. Oh, it puts you back at the bonfire. You might want to take off the ring now. Nah. I would like to get someone and try again. Well, if all of this here are uh, overleveled assholes, that's probably not a good idea. Especially One with bad internet connection. More time, bitch. But yeah, every time you get summoned, you end up back at the bonfire. That's fine. What if you make serious progress and you end up getting summoned again? That's fine. That's what I chose. I made the bed and I'll lie in it. Besides, for all I know, it's going to save my ass from something that's trying to kill me. <laughs> Maybe. Now, the third section has some pre pretty interesting enemies in it. Yep. Armor ahead. Actually, look over the edge. Invading another world. I knew it. I didn't make it far. Watch it be the same guy. Aw, oh, man, that would suck. If it is, then I'm going to urge you to take off the ring. I'm going to take it off after this no matter what. Dawson 073. Good, not the same guy. Now, if only you knew where he was. Get out of the way, shrub. We demand a shrubbery. Dun, dun, dun. A shrubbery? A shrubbery. Dun, dun, dun. Why should we go get the you the shrubbery? Does it spawn you near him or just randomly? It spawns you randomly. I wonder where he's at. Neat. Last time I spawned me like right next to the dude. Okay, I know where I'm at now. Well, he's not aggroed anything yet. Oh, something aggroed on him. I think it was over here. I thought it was behind you. Nope, because he's not aggroed. Hmm. Well, cool TPA. Well, if you feel like it would take too long, you can always just use the black separation crystal to leave. Or jump off the cliff. Ah! That would have been funny. He might be in vestibule. Or it might be... No, that's not him. And if I attack him, that'd be bad. You dead, boy -o. Okay. So I obviously can't go through there, which is, I thought he was standing there for a second. I did too. I thought he was standing there with the bow drawn. So if these guys aren't aggroed, then he had to have gone this way. And I probably heard him splashing in that liquid there, which means he probably went this way. Except this guy's not aggroed, so he couldn't have gone this far. Hmm. I wonder where 
where he's at? He's somewhere. I wonder if he's hiding. It's possible. Watch us end up on YouTube and I'll be running around him in circles. <laughs> It would be funny if we were doing this at the same time as another LP. doesn't have to be a Let's Play. It could just be one of those random Dark Souls videos about people trolling everybody. <laughs> those are all over the place. He might be in the next section of the forest. I didn't see a fog gate now that I think about it. Through here? Yeah. But no one aggroed on him. Which means he might have been in that second part of the forest from the beginning. Ah. Okay, I thought it happened when he walked into the place. Well, this will give me a good chance for reconnaissance of what's ahead. Is that him? That's not him, is it? He ran past. That's the bandit. Okay. I can look up this area without having to worry about fighting enemies. So this is actually a good thing. I can get some uh, recon done. He might be rushing the boss door, and if he reaches it before you, you'll get kicked out. That's fine. Also, the boss of this particular area is not going to be easy. That's hard. Especially since you're not actually supposed to be fighting him yet. Oh, well then why am I here? Because you can go through here, and there is an item here that's worth getting. Also, you really should be on the lookout for him, because chances are he is in this area. Oh, that's not him. That's a mushroom person. I hear someone coming up behind me. Maybe I was hearing a mushroom people walking. But you're certainly not hearing your own feet. You can't. I'm a phantom, dude. That's the point. Phantoms don't make sounds when they walk, so of course I'm not hearing my own feet. Yeah, it was those guys I was hearing. He's to the right of me, but the headset makes it sound like he's to the left of me. That's. Th they need to fix their uh, audio location thingy. I hear my own footsteps sometimes. I think they're in the distance, and I'm like, Who's that? Who's sticking up behind me? Where's the blacksmith? Turn around. What? You're leaving the forest. Well, you're not technically leaving the forest, but you are. Kind of. I mean, there's no white gates here, so obviously he could be here. This is a very large place. Sheesh. Mm -hmm. Also, this is that area I was in. Coming from stuff, things. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. I'm about to end this. This area is not that big. There's not much recon to do. I think it's kind of strange you didn't rush the boss door. Where is the boss door? Across that bridge. How do I get to the bridge? Through that path. Where's that path? That one. What one? That one. Where? Now ah, shut up. <laughs> well, what if he's actually standing in front of it? Nope, he's not, because I don't see him. So what's better? Separation crystal or jump into water? Separation crystal, dude. <laughs> okay, well, I've, I've had enough of this. And watch you be right in front of me when I use it. Just making sure. <gasps> there he is! No, I'm just kidding. That would be funny. For a second there, I thought it fell. I was like, what? <laughs> well, that was riveting and exciting and... Completely pointless. Now let's go back to there again. Hey, look, again. I didn't go to the bonfire. Nope, we ended up back here. I guess you only go to the bonfire if you die. That makes sense. Yep. So, right mushroom people, am I free to attack them, or are they part of the forest hunters? Mus mushroom children are pretty much useless, completely weak, not very strong at all. Die! Die! Give me your goodies! And they'll pretty much run away from you. However, if you see an adult mushroom... Run. Uh, do not let them hit you. At all. Ever. They hit like a truck. 
They will punch straight through your shield. They're made of forest, so they can die in a fire, right? It takes a lot, though. Holy crap balls, I got some help. Yep, they have Four a ton. defense. That was four casts of that, and that dropped him down to a little bit of his health left. I think he actually took more damage from the Great Soul Arrow. Or a Great Heavy Soul Arrow. Gold Pine Resin's nice! Also, be careful. Like I said, you don't want to let them anywhere near you. They hit like a Mack truck on steroids, if you could give a truck steroids. <laughs> Well, at least they're not like rats and attack you because their buddy got hit. Mm -hmm. There we go. Luckily, I don't, I don't think, think I should fight any more of these. I don't think there's that many Mushroom Man adults here. Oh, chest. Nice. I think this is the one that I've sent you to find. Enchanter Emblem. What's that do? Enchanted Ember. Oh, I thought it said Emblem. It allows you to get, you can give it to Rickert and he can upgrade to plus 10 on your magic weapons. Oh, nice. Actually, enchanted want... weapons are different. I'm not sure oh. how they're different, but they reinforce differently. Oh. I don't want enchanted. I uh, I want to keep magic. I think enchanted actually scales better with intelligence, but I'm not sure. Oh, well, in that case, then I want that. But we'll have to take a look at the stats. I hear right. someone coming through for me. Where is it? It's probably the felines, because you just wandered into their part of the woods. But I'm in part of the feline covenant now. They'll probably still attack you. Man. What a bunch of jerks. All I'm going to say is, they hurt. A lot. Actually, they may have been removed from the game. Nope, there they are. That's the thing that she was? Yep. That thing is ugly. What the? I can barely do anything to this guy. These guys hurt too, so, uh. Probably don't want to be casting spells. They leave you open for too long. I'm a sorcerer. That's what I'm supposed to do. Well, he, he ran can. away like a little bitch. Don't worry, he'll come back. Holy crap! Yep, he ran over you. It's like getting hit by a max. Is that truck. a freaking cat or a Goron? Jeez. Gore cat. Cat on. They won't follow you into the forest, though, which is the good thing. Oh, okay. Well, I can just pelt it with arrows or something here. Uh, he's probably going to do the thing again, isn't he? Probably. Haha, -ha, bitch. Take it. Also, I don't know if they drop anything useful. I want to say they do. I haven't killed enough of them to make sure. Man, that was a pain. There's, There's number one. two. And three. <laughs> Area of effect arrow. That was almost a magic missile style hit. <laughs> it's too bad it has range. Yay tree. That's going to take forever. For some reason, the sound from your arrow disappeared. Well, I'm not. Uh, not on my end. There were a few times you cast it where it would do the casting sound, but it wouldn't do the fire sound. Could be my headset, though. You probably, probably just poke the last feline and have it die. I thought I killed you. Are you a new one? Oh, okay, now you're dead. How much are these guys worth? 2,000. That's not bad at all. I'm glad I'm killing them then. Uh, are, are you afraid? Did you run away? Hello? Yeah. Wow, there is an invisible boundary. Yeah, they have a ridiculous... Wow, I can't go past this spot. You might Master have just be stab it. Um, uh, floating um, tree, tree much? I, I don't even... I found a bug. <laughs> found a bug! <laughs> oh, down it goes. 
Yay! It took almost all of your spells to kill three of them. How many more are there? Where do you find the very large ember? I mean, not the very large, but the... I already know where you find the very large ember at. I'm trying to remember where you find the large magic ember. It looks like that's all of them. Yeah, I think there were only three total. There better not be nothing here, because that'd be making me angry. I'm pretty sure there's nothing here. What? Then what's the point? To get to this area. But you could just go around. I know. But now you can get there from here. So you can't get up on that cliff? I'm pretty sure you can't. Okay. I thought I saw an item, but I guess not. It was a flower. Wait, if there's a flower, shouldn't you be able to get up there? Nope. No? No. Oh. Flowers are just there for illumination. So then there's nothing else okay. here. Oh, wait, the boss. I didn't go to the boss. We should avoid the boss for a little bit. What do you think, Robert? You should only go fight the boss if you really want to. It's going to be hard for you at this point in the game. I'll probably just come back. That's a good idea. What's through here? Oh, right. Personally, I usually fight this particular boss when uh, I've uh, gotten the specific item. Ah! He's you got grabbed, your head! Numbed. Holy balls, he almost killed me. At least your spells are doing decent damage against him. Of course, your uh, S stock would do even better damage. Yeah, but that gets me too close, and right now I just want to pelt him. Well, there's no more pelting at all. That's all of your, that's the last of your, all of your magic, I think. Ha ha! Yes, it is. I win, you lose. Neener, neener, neener. Alright, so I guess there's nothing else for me to do here, huh? Nah. Not at the moment. I but guess I better just got, get out of here. At least you got some really good items. And I got some pine resin. And you got the enchanted ember. And much bloom. And, and I got some blood stains. Many souls, much sparkle. Sparkle, sparkle, sheen! Damn Sonic camera! No, no, no! Get away from me! I don't want to fuck with you anymore. Get that's lost, too weird. I wonder if I could just that's jump. No, that's path. too high. That's too high. Remember, at a certain distance, your body is paper mache. Your body is rat. It's got it. <laughs> I feel like we spent most of our time here, almost yeah. the entirety of this session in Dark Root Basin. That's fine. Areas it's a deserve wrong. it because of how much I didn't come here when I wanted to. Alright. Next up is Sin's Fortress, though, so I hope you're ready for that. What if I want to go back down to play some stuff and things and get the missings? It'll Don't be easier later, trust us. Ah, eh, fine. Sin's Fortress it is. I'm hoping you get there in this session. Well, that depends. Do you want to go another video? We might be able to make it another video. Because we'll cool uh, we got like room. a minute and a half left in this one. We we'll need to cool down the room a little bit. Oh, I like fighting easy guys. They're easy. If you have a shield down. Well, <laughs> say goodbye to that notion because what's in Sin's Fortress is not a pushover. I'm in of these tree guys, the easier I versions. I don't like this spot right here. Too easy to fall off. That explains a lot of the cliffs in Dark Souls. Yeah. Oh god, I just remembered an area you're gonna hate later. Oh. I can guess which area Robert's talking about. I'll give you a hint, Aaron. Fwip, fwip. <laughs> I thought I was gonna say a uh, illusory wall or something. I was gonna like be like, liar ahead and stuff. I did it! Hooray for you? Yes. Indeed. Try dashing through. Nah, you should just kill the guy instead. My, that's a rare ember you have there. I've seen one of those before. It's the ember of a divine blacksmith. Might you consider leaving that with me? So that was a divine blacksmith that bit the dust. With a flame such as that. Andre definitely deserves the divine ember. 
You've made a fine well, could you give it to somebody else? You can't give it to anybody else. No one else will take it. Oh, okay. What happens if you say no? Will he ask you again? He'll say no, but I, th I think you can offer it to him again eventually. He now has divine reinforcement. You definitely want at least one divine weapon before the end of the game. For a second, I thought you just sold that. I was, I'm like, you can't sell. I know, <laughs> but you can sell. <laughs> you can sell in Dark Souls Three, and that kind of threw me off. Oh, okay, fair enough. Because you can't repair equipment in Dark Souls Three. What? No, any time you rest at a bonfire, all your stuff's automatically oh, repaired. Oh, yeah. okay. What if it Same breaks? Does it go away permanently, or can you just go no, to a bonfire? No, you can have a blacksmith fix it. Yeah, Same unlike this two. game, when a weapon completely breaks, you can have a blacksmith fix it. So when do I get to repair the stupid broken sword heal from the beginning of the game you guys told me I can do? Uh, you have to get through part of the DLC. Oh, okay. That's not true. You can turn a weapon into it. I well, mean, you can fuse it with a boss soul that you can get during this game. That will allow you to make it. Guys, shut up. The episode's over. Excuse me. Shut up. Okay. See you guys in the next episode. Shut up.